Cyber Dragons Tier 1. Let's go, guys. It's your boy Steve from Triff Gaming. What a broken deck. I don't know how I did it, but I made Cyber Dragons broken. Cyber Dragon, Sky Strikers, new meta. The second these OCG cards come out, man, new meta. Going first, going second, don't matter. Going third, this deck breaks boards. This deck makes boards. You cannot beat it. I'm telling you right now, it is so good. I've never seen a deck that was so irrelevant for so long. I mean, when was the Cyber Dragon exist? Like what, 2005? So irrelevant for years and years and years. They released some new support from it, and now it's insane. They have a trap card that says, destroy four monsters, your four cards your opponent controls. Destroy four cards your opponent controls. That's insane. And you protect that with Infinity, or you draw Waking the Dragon, and you make a Durandal, and you make your opponent cry. Broken. What's... Can you please inform me? Tell me what Sky Striker's doing to Exterior or Falcon. Literally nothing. Alright? Nothing. Anyways, this is the profile. Check it out. I'm going to show you guys a lot of duels with it. This whole video is for Finn. My Patreon. You requested me. I make Cyber Dragon sick. I got you. They're not just sick. They're not just meta. They are tier 1 when this support comes out. Going first or going second. Don't matter. Side deck. I made all this just to blow them out going second. Always go second after siding. Or if you really feel like it, go first. Don't, don't matter. You're just going to destroy them regardless. Because what a deck this is. Now, we're gonna go, before we go into the duels, uh, subscribe to my channel. And subscribe to my other fitness channel, Trip Fitness. We're just talking about getting shredded. Uh, also, if you want me to make a, another a deck sick, let me know on Patreon. I will make any deck sick. I don't know what it is. I just have this talent where I will bring any deck uh, like a phoenix rise from the dust and make them amazing now Obviously, this is needed with OCG cards uh, a few changes I might make is take out a second Nova and second infinity for more links uh, more links helps for the long run of the game and That's about it. So we're gonna go right into it If you have any questions about the actual profile ask me but I'm convinced this is the perfect ratio of all the cards now Let's go into the duels. So uh, we're gonna be having uh, one duel here and a match the duel will showcase the true power, the true power of Cyber Dragons. So, this is what we open. Uh, it looks good, right? We uh, the reason you play the Sky Striker cards, by the way, is to bait out cards like Ash, because uh, the whole deck is Searchers. The whole Cyber Dragon deck with the new support is just Searchers. Uh, so just try to bait out Ash and all that. Now, and also to give a, mach a machine. So Kagari is a machine. So. In order for a repair plan to resolve, you always want to put Cyber Dragon Core in the grave, right? So in order to do that, you just need ways to go into Genius. So boom, we just get a bunch of Searchers. The soldier and hers is the, the goal to have in your hand. That's a one card rank five. And boom, we just get what the ad we need. And also it fills your grave. Hers ensures that you fill your grave with different uh, monsters. So what hers does is when it gets sent to the grave, add any Cyber Dragon to your hand. Uh, and then you have a bunch of searchers as well. Boom, we make the Randall. We look at our hand. We set the Waking the Dragon. We set that card pass, pass 4, man. Uh, you take how many Cyber Dragons you have in your grave with different levels, banish them, and you pop the same amount on the, on the field. So, so he's playing Cyber Dragons too, which is hilarious. Uh, like how often are you going to see a random... This is completely random. How often are you going to see a completely random Cyber Dragon match on Dueling Book? It's hilarious, but it is what it is. So uh, he searches that... Uh, he said no effect, even though it's mandatory to use the effect. I didn't even realize at the time, so I w otherwise would have negated but uh, and, and resolve my exterior. But uh, I didn't realize at the time. He, he attempts to tackle. I pop both of them. I think it might have been better just to uh, keep the one set waking the dragon. But I thought just in case it's better to pop some stuff first in case he could still make plays. Uh, like with, even without using spells or traps. Then he attempts to use repair plant. I pop my, my waking the dragon, bring in the exterior. Boom. Like what are you going to do to that, man? What are you going to do to that? Like, Durando, man, honestly, it's just remarkable. What are you going to do to that? Exterior, exterior is so underrated. Uh, I just destroyed so many decks right now. Uh, in fact, it's so good, this card, that I'm pretty sure I, it's it's so good that I read it wrong. That I don't I don't think it's as good as, as it says. That's how good it is. Like, truly remarkable. But, uh, so he does that. Gets a little search. We don't play that card because it sucks. And boom, we're just going to do the exact same next turn if we want. If you found a way to clear this, we're just going to do the exact same thing. So that's the beauty of it. So you get core, you get the trap again. The whole point, put up one rank five 
and put up a trap, and that's all you need. The traps. The trap pops two and a rank five makes infinity. The point of the deck, make an infinity plus the pop two or three or four trap card set. That's it. That's all it is. If you draw into Waking the Dragon or your Sky Striker cards, you plus a little bit. And if you draw into the Sky Strikers, you don't really need to make an extra link. Uh, if you can just make two rank fi- two level fives and one infinity in the monsters, extra monsters, don't do that and set your um, uh, Widow. But if not, you don't need to set it. Just save it for a follow-up if they clear your board to take what they have and then uh, use it for links, etc. Take out the problem. Anyways, we popped that because we don't want to get... Uh, in case he ran another Mega Fleet. Then he, he, he scoops because exterior too good. You can't play any spells, traps, and we win. Uh, it's actually really good. Like It does that every single time you go first. If we didn't draw Waking the Dragon, that would have been a second Infinity. So there would have been two rank, uh, two rank fives. If you don't have access to Waking the Dragon, uh, just make two rank fives with a trap. One rank five trap is good enough to win. So here we're uh, playing a match against uh, one of my friends. Uh, I let him go first. He's playing BA. So BA, I think, is an underrated deck. I used to give a lot of flack for being a bad deck. But I think it's a really under, underrated deck. Uh, they'll never die. Uh, BA can easily uh, steal a lot of games for sure. But anyways, he goes Dante. I think he goes Beatrice. Uh, Underclock Beatrice. If it was just if it was just Beatrice, that'll be no issue because Cyber Dragon will just take care of that. And if he banishes it with Firefly, just summon another. So we'll be good with that. And then he goes Beatrice or Underclock Beatrice, which is fine. Just a typical play for for BA is Beatrice and Hand Traps. So. That's fine. Uh, the thing I love about Cyber Dragons is it plays through hand drops so damn well, man. What are you going to do? if you dr- Let's say you draw my repair plant. No problem. I'll just set the trap and we're good. If you, or I'll just get a spe- the special summon card. The new special summon card. Uh, so it plays around it so well. Uh, if you ash it, big deal. There's so many more other plays coming that hand traps don't do much So against Cyber Dragons. That's why I love it. And that's the only thing that's relevant. Ogre is irrelevant. Uh, Impermanence is irrelevant. Like, Impermanence is a cyber... There's infinities on Impermanence, so it automatically becomes irrelevant because you're facing against a, the OG deck. But he uses, brings out Snow there uh, instantly. Then we go slowly by slowly. We think, don't, you don't got to overextend with, with Cyber Dragons. Uh, one issue with Cyber Dragons is that uh, they're not very good with replenishing resources. You can't just pen 5 every turn, like Pendulums. Uh, so you want to save your resources where you can. Uh, so don't exhaust your whole hand every time. If you could put up an unbreakable board, which is a trap and, and two two rank fives, that's unbreakable. Uh, one infinity, one Pleiades, one rank five, or a Durando waking the dragon or something. Then uh, go ahead and use your hand up, but uh, you don't have to use too much. So we get the trap. Always get the trap. The trap is a number one priority. Honestly, even if you get no rank fives, this card says pop two, three, or four cards. It's absolutely insane. And if they pop your back, if you if they pop it, let's say they pop your set trap, all you do. It just it, it gets destroyed by a card effect, goes to the grave. You get to add another cyber speller trap. So uh, it's really, really amazing, honestly. So what we do here, we don't want to overextend. We could do a lot. We got machine dupe, etc. We could do a lot. Uh, we got more galaxy soldiers, but we're not going to do much because all we want to do, we're going to put a play these. Uh, he's going to book it. We're going to bounce a Beatrice. And then when he makes two, uh, um, we believe he has a tour guide in his hand, right? So, we have, uh, if Snow is on board, we're trying to make sure Snow comes on board here. He's forced to use Snow. He's forced to use it. Because if he doesn't Snow on my end phase, or any time, whatever, main phase, then a play will just bounce whatever he's going to make next turn. So, he has to do it, forcing the Snow to be on the field, uh, which means that there's no Beatrice we got to take care of. This Beatrice is an issue, uh, unless we bounce it. So, I, and if it's in defense and not in attack, I don't want to Kaiju it. So, uh, yeah, he, he's forced to... That's what he does. I was expecting a, a tour guide. So if he was going to tour guide, we're just going to pop the dumb two, and then he won't uh, the tour guide and whatever he brings out, and then he won't be able to use the BA effects. Uh, so over here, he just summons Dante. I'm pretty sure his turn is going to end here. That's what I thought. But then uh, he's going to uh, because he adds back Dante adds that. But then uh, he specials the scarm, which means there's a BLS coming. So we we weren't surprised. We weren't ready for the BLS. Uh, we thought that we were just going to attempt this um, tour guide. We're going to pop it, and then. Uh, none of his BAs will be able to resolve So uh, from his hand. So I thought we were going to be set, but no. BLS, he's going to clear it. I was hoping he's going to attack into our core. I was hoping he's going to attack into it, but he didn't. He did a smart thing and banished it because next turn it would help us bring out another Cyber Dragon on the field, which will help us for a lot of plays. We would have got Infinity, steal the BLS attack, and would have been in control of the game. But he banishes it. Uh, 5,600 damage is irrelevant when... Uh, it really changes the game state a lot. And we drew into... The whole deck is searchers. So we drew into a search card. 
the whole deck is searchers now. Like you got three core, three emergency side the that card, uh, three uh, hers, like three repair plan. There's so many new searchers, it's insane. You're always bound to get searchers. So we summon a cyber dragon, uh, and then we have that. And then we're gonna use soldier and hers. We're gonna uh, we're just gonna take control of the game from here. Uh, hers one goes to graves, adds another another. We're gonna get core. Then we got a rank five and core. Core, I'm gonna add the we had that repair plant. And we got a lot of plays here. I think uh, I should have got the trap there, in my opinion. I should have gotten the trap. Uh, I did a little mistake here. I th uh, but I, 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 oh, now I know. I didn't want to do it because I want to go for game. So I wanted to uh, OTK him. Otherwise, the control play would have been get the trap and go infinity. Because infinity and trap, you'll be so surprised how easy it is, or how hard it is to break. Use repair plant, second effect, put another cyber dragon back to get the full effect of, of machine dupe. And then. Uh, that's about it, man. Uh, we just went, went from there. We're going to go Nova. We're going to special another Cyber Dragon out with Nova's effect. Nova can also boost his attack up, I think, by 2100. And we're just going to bore load and win. We're going to use Soldier's effect, bring that out. We're going to take BLS with bore load, activate effect, and win the day, win the game. Uh, we could have gone, uh, if we really wanted to, Trap and Infinity. With Trap and Infinity, I'm telling you, it's, bro it's so tough because Infinity protects the Trap. And the trap will pop three monsters because it's so easy. We had three monsters in grave at that point. It was so easy to put. It's so easy to put monsters in the grave uh, for the trap. Uh, even if they're not, they don't have to be in the grave. They can even be in the field or I think hand too. The trap's unbelievably busted. The new cyber dragon trap, so busted. It's actually OP. Uh, any card that says pop three cards your opponent controls should not be in Yu-Gi-Oh. In fact, I was playing Pendulum one time. Uh, I was facing one. Uh, someone wanted to duel me. He said he was a superior pendulum player. So I laughed. I was like, okay, if you're such a superior pendulum player, uh, you got to earn your right to face me with pendulums. So I'll, I'll beat your ass with cyber dragons. And he laughed and thought I was being sarcastic. But then I proceeded to 2 -oh him. How I would set the, I have an infinity. I would set the trap. And he would, I would protect that trap with my life. Not that he could pop it. I didn't negate anything with infinity. And then against a pendulum player, after he pen summoned, I just popped his whole field with the trap, popped four cards. And then he literally just scooped. He said, oh my god, I can't believe how good that trap is. And here, anyways, uh, it's an unbelievably good card, man. The Cyber Dragons are, are truly tier one when all the support comes out. I don't care what anyone says, man. At first, I thought it would be tough to make this deck good, but no. This deck is insane. This deck's insane. I thought it would be so hard when it, when, when the, uh, Finn told me, yo, make this deck sick, bro. I'd appreciate it from Patreon. But I was like... Bro, it'll be tough, but we'll see what I could do. The next thing you know, broken. Unreal. Anyways, we're dealing with Vanity's Fiend here. Uh, he banishes with Farf, which is unfortunate because I really wanted the search. Uh, if we got the search off, we could have done some things with Cyber Dragon Core and get the trap, etc. But nothing. So, uh, it comes back now. There's a few lines of plays you could do here uh, to take care of Vanity's Fiend. But again, having Vanity's Fiend on board uh, stops him from playing. So, we have to just play super safe. Uh, he got lucky with the Farva, to be honest. I would have saved the Graf just in case, uh, I would have kept, kept it on Dante. Uh, he was lucky he did that, but I don't think I would have done that. But hers, I'm just going to crash into Fiend, I think. Nah, I, I was going to, I normal summon thinking Galaxy Soldier also gets this effect when it's normal summon, but it's only when it's special. Then, uh, we got one of the, uh, hers search, but he negated it with Ash, so that's unfortunate. And I think, like, uh, we just scooped from then. Uh, we had the trap set. I could have easily, pop, I could pop the Vanity's Fiend, but then... Because soldiers on board, I could cry. Yeah, I was gonna crash, crash with Galaxy Soldier, uh, pop it with hers, and then use our brandish cards to make a play. But uh, that wasn't gonna accomplish much just because we didn't even have the proper links in our deck to go, even us our Yuja or an actual borrow load. We didn't have enough links in our deck to do it. Uh, I fixed up my extra deck later after this, realizing that yeah, we have three, three, uh, we're gonna put four monsters on board, but we couldn't make any of the big. Uh, any of the big rank fours only could or link fours because our, our extra deck wasn't ready for it. So, uh, it's very important to make sure you got the link, a special link ones and link twos, then sure you could resolve that. But, anyways, game three here. This game three is a sick game, honestly. It was so good. It's back and forth. I love games like this. Actual interactive Yu Gi Oh! I miss it. We open a typical Cyber Dragon hand, just five Cyber Dragon cards. What else do you expect when you play Cyber Dragons? When you play Cyber Dragons, you want to see all the Cyber Dragon cards possible. So, I maxed out on all three. Some people play two repair plan. I don't know why. The actual repair plan one sucks, but it's okay. Because we're still, still going to go off. Uh, I think I misplayed slightly here. I shouldn't have gone for a genius. I think I'm going to go for a clever genius. And I should not have searched for the level four. I think level four sucks. 
level four is only there. You can whenever you normal summon a cyber dragon, you can special summon the level four uh, for free. But it's like Kaigo Tokage kind of for cyber dragons. But it's a, uh, it's really bad. I shouldn't have gone to Clever Genius. It's such a neg. I should have saved my resources for next turn. What I should have done was normal the core, get the trap, make one infinity and pass. That's it. But I wasted two cards to make a genius. Uh, so I should have just saved the genius in hand uh, for a follow up. And not, well, play these is way better against BA than Infinity. Uh, but, yeah, it was my mistake there. Uh, we have four cards in Grave, by the way. We have four Cyber Dragons in Grave with different levels. So against Pendulums, this will be auto win. The trap would be, say, pop four. The trap says pop four, and then play these bounces. So here he hits, hits us with a Crane Crane, which I think is so good in BA. Especially going second when you play so many level three hand traps. Uh, we're forced to bounce the Virgil in case he has uh, another BA in hand. And then he specials two. Perfect. Right into our trap. We're going to pop two of them. They get, don't get their effects off. The trap's broken, man. Then he ghost spells the trap. Holy. I did not see that coming. Ghost spell stopped our trap. That's unfortunate. Ghost spell does stop the trap only because uh, you do banish cards from your grave. Uh, I'm telling you, when Cyber Dragons, pick up your ghost spells now. When Cyber Dragons come out and they're relevant, ghost spell will go up in price. I'm telling you right now, you need to side for Cyber Dragons. Because you can't just hope to go first. If you just go first, I'm at, do you have any of gookies I beat, man? Like, it's insane. Do you have any of any gookies I beat with this deck? Because they put up their gookie board, then I simply just mega fleet them and then proceed to attack into the other issues. All their stuff are, are irrelevant and then steal something with Infinity. Their whole board's gone. They have no follow up. They're going to have to uh, trap an Infinity after breaking their board. But, anyways, we draw into the Reborn card. We're lit because we're just going to go into the herds, get core, get another trap, and we win. We win. We're going to go, like, it was so good. But he unfortunately ashes our hers search, which is unfortunate. Or was it? I think Ghost Bell did it or something. He was a little slow here. He did it a little late. Uh, he said go back for a bit. He's a little late. Yeah, he Ghost Bell, Ghost Bell. What a card, man. Like Ghost Bell actually really hurt Cyber Dragons. I'm telling you, pick him up now. He stopped our hers from getting summoned. So if our hers got summoned, we would have got core. Uh, we would have had core and we would have been so lit because we would have had a trap that said pop four again. Uh, but we couldn't do anything. So we just attack. And we hope he doesn't draw into, into uh, BA. Because he had Sir. He passed. We're good. We drew into Machine Dupe. Okay. We got to wait another turn. Hope he doesn't draw another BA. If he draws another BA, we're going to have to draw. Uh, we'll be, uh, that'll be fine. Even if he drew a BA here, we're just going to draw a Cyber Dragon. And then uh, we'll be fine. He passed. And then boom. Another Reborn card. We win. The Reborn card is insane. Because you have so many different ways you want to uh, win. Uh, then we just show him the Machine Dupe and he scoops. Uh, her scoop dupe, man. That's a new format. Forget Troop Do Scoop. Anyways, that's the deck again. Check it out. Uh, the only changes I would make is take out a second Nova and a second Infinity for more links because the links give you a lot more plays. It helps you. Uh, I might even play Scapegoats and go specifically second because you clear boards and just uh, wreck them. But anyways, that's the deck, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Shout out Finn for telling me to make this deck. It was honestly amazing. Thank you for telling me, honestly. Because I had so much fun with this deck. It's so, so fun to play with this deck. I'm about to go beat some more scrubs. I'm doing but with it right now. And I'm going to go lift. Because if you got mad. After watching this. All of you go lift right now, man. Yu-Gi-Oh is one thing. But make sure everyone. All you guys got your success out of the day too. Make sure you did your homework. Make sure you did your. Uh, you went to the gym. You lifted. Make sure you went to. You made some money. Make sure you do all that before you play Yu-Gi-Oh, man. Anyways. Subscribe to Trip Gaming. Subscribe to Trip Fitness. Uh, check out my Patreon. Any uh, support. I, I'd appreciate it. And lastly, shout out to Royal Club Games, my sponsor. We're going to be releasing our site soon. Hook you guys up with some sick deals. Later, guys. Peace.